going to celebrate the testimony of these three ladies as they give a public testimony to why they're choosing to get baptized today. Let's give them a warm hand because it's nerve-wracking to be up here. Yeah? How about it? We're going to start right over here. God bless you. What's your name? Gabriella. And Gabriella, you're taking the step of believer's baptism. You feel like you're ready today to do it? Yes, I am. Do you want to tell me why? Who is your mentor and why you're choosing to get baptized? Mary Siegel. Yes, thank you, She's Mary. my mentor. God bless you. And um, I'm just doing it because he bestowed it in my heart. And I don't want to get emotional because I'll start crying. That's okay. That's all right. <laughs> but he let me see the truth. And um, I want to accept him and follow him <laughs> the way, all the way. Amen. 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 And let me ask you this question. How did, you, how did you start coming around to this church? My husband. Yeah. Praise God for husbands, mm -hmm. right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, and his family. And so. his family. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. And Mary, you've been mentoring her, getting her ready for this step to be a follower of Jesus. Anything you want to speak into her, say, about, say anything about how, how this process has been? It was great. She is very spiritual, and she was so hungry for God. It's when you find somebody that hungry and willing to go through all the books with you, and just she wants more and more. And I'm going to work with her all the way. Amen. God's blessings upon her. Amen. Praise God for people that are hungry to follow Jesus. God bless you, sister. Um, and we need to pray as well because on this Thursday she's also having an operation. So. Uh, what, what a no better way to go to the operating table but to uh, be going in there with just the confidence that the Spirit of God is with you. Praise God for that. God bless you. Amen. We're going to move over here. Hi, how you doing? Fine. You want to tell us your name? Fortunata. Fortunata. Yes. Yeah, what a great name. Thank you. <laughs> and um, who was your mentor? Eunice. Hey, Eunice. God bless you. And tell me a little bit about uh, why you're choosing to get baptized. Well, I, got, I wrote my testimony down. Okay. Well, typed it. The first time I came to New Life was a few years ago with my now ex-husband. He brought me here to try to encourage me to seek counseling to save our marriage. But that was the last time I was here. Our marriage ended up in divorce because of my refusal to seek spiritual help and fully forgiving him for whatever we went through. I came back to New Life about two and a half years ago, uh, seeking for peace in my heart. Even though I moved away from what I thought was the cause of my unhappiness, I was still not content. I was broken inside. I had resentment, pain, unforgiveness, disappointment, and anger in my heart. It was when Pastor Mark, Mark preached on his fabulous book, Unstuck, the chapter, Walk Towards Your Unfinished Business. I realized then that I had unfinished business with my then still husband. I knew I couldn't do it on my own. I needed guidance. That is when I was recommended to join a group called Fusion. It's a marriage group. And boy, did I learn so much from joining that group. Although it was just by myself without a spouse there, Fusion accepted me without judgment, and I made good friends. I learned a lot from them and the studies, and I'm sure they probably learned something from me. During my time at Fusion, I asked my ex-husband for forgiveness in everything we went through and, my, and for my stubbornness for not fighting for our marriage. I can truly say with all my heart that I have forgiven him. The word of God has taught me compassion and forgiveness. Yes. Parents shouldn't have to be packing their children's suitcase to have them spend it with the other parent on specific weekends. Mm. That shouldn't be part of our life, but unfortunately, it is in some cases. Mm. The good part of my testimony is that my daughter sees her daddy almost daily. We have been able to keep a good and healthy relationship by participating in school activities or anything that, that involves our child. Why, some of you may ask, because we love her dearly, and our children shouldn't have to pay for our mistakes, and to show her that even though mommy and daddy aren't together, we can get along. Yeah. My advice to every marriage here struggling right now is to fight for your marriage and don't give up, yeah. regardless how bad your storm is. Today, today I'm ready to put my old self down and praise and raise up to be the new woman that Jesus Christ had me plant. So today, I'm ready to follow Jesus, and I want the whole world to know. Amen. Amen. Praise God, Fortunata. You know, how many of you know that God is a redeemer of our story? And sometimes it's, sometimes it's the hardship. 
that brings us to the grace of God. How many of you, how many of you know that it was some, some trials that brought you to Christ? How many of you can testify to that? That sometimes the hardest things in our life become the greatest gifts of our life because God uses them to bring us to ourselves. Thank you so much for that testimony. And we are so excited to see you get baptized today, Fortunata. God bless you. Amen. How you doing today? Good. Good. You ready to get baptized? Yes. Okay. You want to tell us your name? Uh, Julia. And, and who mentored you, Julia? L my mentor is Lourdes. Lourdes. Hi, Lourdes. <laughs> and uh, why are you taking the step of believer's baptism today? Uh, to become the new me. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> I did write something. Okay. Okay. It says, for so many years I tried to disqualify myself from the life from the love of God. I thought the life I lived completely removed me from his eyes. And because I gave up on myself, I figured God did as well. Boy, I was wrong. God looks for the broken, takes their million of shattered pieces, yes. and one by one glues them back together. Yes. There is absolutely nothing I can do to separate myself from his arms. Amen. I lay everything at his feet. I want to become a living testimony to my family that God's best soldiers are often the ones who stand on the front lines yes. with the most wounds. Because I experienced much pain in my life, I can preach his outstanding faithfulness with extravagant passion. I serve an awesome God. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Lord, this thank you for mentoring. Let's give it up for the mentors, by the way. We celebrate. Not only those that are taking the step of baptism, that, but we also celebrate the people that are willing to walk beside them to teach them and help them come to a place of baptism. Shame is up.